Okay, so now that you have your calculator set with the proper displayed decimal places and no BEG and no weird tables happening there, you're ready to go and you can start solving questions. So how to enter values into this calculator is very similar to the way that we do it for the HP calculator. So I'm just gonna show you how to enter something into each one of the locations. Now remember, you're always entering five values to get the sixth. Okay, so you're, you're gonna enter five values and you're gonna push the button for the sixth. So I'm just gonna show you how to enter something into each one of the locations, but you would never be entering six into the calculator for the same question. Okay, so just wanna mention that before we start. So uh, for this one here, we said for the HP, you always put the value into the calculator first then you use the plus minus key if you need to, which is here on the calculator instead of it being up in this area on the HP calculator, it's down here. And then your location keys are here in white and the PY is, is actually above your IY key on this calculator. Okay, so slightly different configuration in locations but uh, nothing too crazy that you can't handle. So I'm gonna go through each one of these examples so if you had a 25 year amortization with monthly payments to enter for this calculation, you would multiply 25 times 12 equals and then push N and it would enter that 300 into the N for you. If you had a 13% mentioned in the question and you wanted that to go in your IYR, you would press 13 and then IY. $300,000 in your PV, that's what you were gonna borrow, you would press 300,000 and then push your PV key. If you were entering a payment, you would be a $450 payment. You'd have to put a negative on that because it's a payment amount and then press your payment key. Okay, so $500 payment, 500 plus minus PMT, $1,000 payment plus minus PMT, and we'll go back to the 450 plus minus PMT. Okay, so every time you enter a payment amount or you find it, it should be a negative in the calculator. For a future value, let's say that it was for this 25 year amortization and you would have zero in that future value at the end of everything. So we say to still use the plus minus key to get used to it. So zero plus minus future value. If you had a future value, an outstanding balance in that location in, mentioned in the question, then you would need to enter that. So let's say you would have 100,000 left in your outstanding balance at the end of the uh, term. So that would be 100,000 plus minus future value. I'm gonna go back again to the zero plus minus future value. And if you had 12 that you wanted to put in for your PYR, so 12 periods per year with this calculator, it's above the IY and it's just PY instead of PYR. So you're going to hit your second function and PY and you see that I have a two in there and the enter has lit up here above it so it tells you that you can change it if you want, we want to. We're going to hit 12 and enter and you see that the PY now has 12 in it. So that's how you enter values into each of these locations. Now there's an example question here um, down at the bottom of the next page. So let's do this question and we're gonna solve for the payment and see if we get the correct answer because solving for the payment is slightly different in this calculator as it is in the HP. So we're gonna enter in all of these values, right? Five values to get that sixth payment value. So we'll start from the top down like we normally do. So we're gonna exit that menu. I'm going to multiply 20 times 12 equals and push N. 14, IYR, 40,000, PV. Skip the payment, that's what you're trying to find. Zero, plus minus, future value. And then we're going to go into our second PY and we would press 12, enter. Now it already was 12 that was in there, so you wouldn't need to change it, but I just did that to, to show you how you need to do it. 
So then because we're trying to find payment and we're in this table, we need to exit the table. And then to get the payment amount, you need to use the compute button. So you're gonna push compute, which is here, and then your payment key. And you see that I get the correct answer, negative 497.408, blah, blah, blah. Thank you.